Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can use Wan Video AI. In order to do so, here we are at Wan.video, that's W A N dot video. And here we can see that we have AI images, we have AI videos. You can see here a variety of examples of things that other people have done. And there is some really cool stuff here. So let's go ahead and see how it is that we can use one. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and log in. We're going to go ahead and sign in with Google. And with just a couple clicks of the button, here we are, we're ready to go. So we have our free version, we have the pro version, which works out to be about $60 a year, which is not too bad, it's 300 credits per month. We'll see how that works out. But we also have the monthly subscription that's uh, 6 50 a month so that's kind of nice right now there's 35 percent off or you have the premium for 35 uh, percent off and 26 a month so that's really quite reasonable compared to some other platforms and one of the things here is we could see that we do need to earn some credits in order to proceed so let's go ahead and click on check in and we've checked in so now we've got 10 credits to play around with so let's go ahead and see what we can do with our 10 credits so first of all let's check out the ai images and we could see that in order to generate an image it's going to cost us two credits so that's not too bad let's go ahead and check out the videos section and here we could see that we could generate 10 credits so basically those daily login credits are going to give you one video that you can play around with that's eh, not too bad it's not too great but it at least is something and you can do quite a few images if you want so let's go ahead and try something out let's try the text to video we also have image to video here as well but we'll go ahead and we'll stick with the text to video you can see here we've got our aspect ratio we've got inspiration mode inspiration mode is to enhance creative inspiration enrich the visuals and improve expressiveness the results may differ with from different uh from the input prompts so if we turn that off then basically what that does is here for our prompts then it's just going to use exactly what it is that you put in but if you put it into inspiration mode then that is going to enhance the creative inspiration enrich the visuals improve expressiveness so we might want to keep that on but you might want to play around with that turn that off and on depending on what kind of results that you get let's uh just take a quick look here at the ai images so you could see here that we could put in our prompt so whatever it is that we want to put in we could put in, put in there we can change our styles so here we can see that we have a variety of styles to play with pixel 3d cartoon polygon cute anime glass porcelain origami there's a lot of cool stuff here to play around with and we also have our aspect ratios so that gives you an idea of what to expect there we'll go ahead and go back to our ai videos and let's go ahead and try to do something with our text prompt Okay, so what we're going to do here is we have our prompt, a silhouette of a man jumping off a boat with a harpoon, slow motion, cinematic documentary, and I clicked enhance prompt here, and this brought us over here to our enhance prompt section, and this is going to improve our prompt slightly. Cinematic slow motion shot of a determined man's silhouette leaping from a weathered boat, wielding a gleaming harpoon, a powerful splash beneath him as he aims at the horizon. I think we're going to remove that part because I don't think that really fits with what it is that we're looking for. But this is a good example of how you can use the enhanced prompt option and a lot of different platforms will use that. But sometimes you do want to make sure that the enhanced prompt uh, is following the instructions that you want because otherwise you might get some results that you're not looking for and those credits are precious so we're going to go ahead and click use it and then there that's ready to go our aspect ratio that's perfect and we're going to go ahead and click on generate looks like oh there we go so that took a moment there but now that's working and you can see here that we have an estimated time of three minutes so we'll go ahead and let that finish up okay so that's all finished up so let's go ahead and take a look at the result
So some pretty cool stuff here. I like the silhouette of the person. I like the, uh, you know, there's a lot going on here that we're looking for, but also it's not quite hitting the mark. We've got some kind of uh, strange rubbery effect going on with our harpoon. And uh, this doesn't exactly look like a boat, um, but it's pretty close. Like this is kind of something where what I might do with this is I might uh, just punch in with the uh, zoom. So that way we're kind of seeing the individual, but we're not necessarily seeing like all of the, uh, the details as far as the harpoon and all that kind of stuff goes. So this is not necessarily unusable, but it is something where we might have to play around with it a bit in order to be able to really use it. But there's a lot here that's good. I like the silhouette. I like the ocean. I like the sun. It, it It's close. But I think in this regard, what we'll probably have to do is we'll probably have to try to improve our prompt, try to specify a little bit more what it is that we're looking for. But that is the nature of video generation. Sometimes you get what you want and sometimes you don't. And unfortunately, that's uh, where you have to be very careful with your credits, because if you have a subscription and you have a certain amount of credits, and uh, you get a generation that you can't use, well, then that's kind of money out the window. So you do have to be careful with how your prompts are. You want to make sure that they're as detailed as possible, that they're as specific as possible. But also remember that sometimes there's not much you could do about it. You're going to get what you get, and then you just got to move on and try again. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you take a look in the description, you will find a link to our link tree. There you'll find our top AI tool recommendations. Click on any of those links to get started. You'd be helping us out as well, and we would greatly appreciate it.